My name's Roy Lowry and I'm Associate Professor in Physical Chemistry. I've been running labs for first years, for years now, and we've refined the lab book to a stage where there's, there's virtually nothing we can do with it. It's as good as it's going to get. But still, students are presented with equipment they've never seen before. And the two dimensions of a lab book don't give us enough room to actually help them and describe how the equipment goes together. So a lot of time in the lab is actually just wasted on little things like, no, no, that test tube needs to go in here. And the best way is to show them. And the idea was to actually put a little, very short video clip together with demonstrations of how the equipment should uh, go together, what they should look for, where there shouldn't be air bubbles, and maybe a little bit of data analysis. The new practice is to produce a, a very short video podcast. I think the longest one is seven minutes. Uh, the, the way of doing that is very simple. Uh, I come up with a, a script, a storyline, and uh, there's just me and a video camera, nobody else, uh, and it's a fairly straightforward video camera. And it's just a shot of me talking to the camera about the laboratory, what's required, etc. I then uh, take extra shots of the equipment, me showing which dials I'm talking about, which glass tube goes in where, and they're cut in over the top. Very simple, just straightforward, simple editing that can be done in Windows if necessary. The videos were very popular. Every single student watched them, but that's probably because embedded in the videos are pre-lab questions that have to be answered before they're allowed in the lab. So that's, one, that's, that's the bait, if you like. Uh, but most students actually watch them more than once, uh, and a significant number would watch them after the practical as well to uh, get some ideas on how to write the practical up. What I would do differently, uh, I think I'm going to make a decision to film at the weekends simply because there's less noise in the building in terms of background. Apart from that, everything is fairly simple, so fairly straightforward. We went for two levels of feedback. After the first term, uh, I, we, we did a very quick and easy questionnaire to all the students asking about resolution, download times, how quickly they could find the videos. And we seem to have the balance reasonably okay there. Uh, most of them are watching them on small devices, so the resolution isn't really a problem. Afterwards, we had a focus group and the feedback from the students has been phenomenal. They really love them, the fact that they can, if necessary, watch them at three o'clock in the morning. Uh, and they like a human voice guiding them through rather than just black and white. So it's certainly something I hope to expand on in the future.